Hey guys, it's 3 Timothy Sight. Welcome back to more Dragon Age 2. In the last episode, we began our mission to collect coin in order to. Well, you know. In order to get on the Deep Roads Expedition. In this episode, we're gonna talk to Isabel. My. And here I thought the only men in this place were besotted fools who couldn't hoist the mainsail. You mean like the men you sent scrambling from the tavern? Exactly like them. Worthless twits. I'm Isabella. Previously Captain Isabella. Sadly, without my ship, the title rings a bit hollow. You're Ferelden, aren't you? You have that look about you. I was in Denerim not too long ago. You know, you might be just what I'm looking for to solve a little problem I have. Can't anyone fix their own lives around here? Must be something in the water. Someone from my past has been pestering me. I've arranged for a duel. If I win, he leaves me alone. But I don't trust him to play fair. I need someone to watch my back. I think I could manage watching your back. <laughs> I'll bet. I've arranged to meet Hader in Hightown after dark. I'll meet you there. And that begins the quest Fool's Russian. Does the, uh quest that that nets you the party member but um what's her name again oh, darn it Isabel this is the quest and it's Isabel a, as a party member okay now like with Zevran in um in Origins if you um it, you need to have you need to manage to get a high high uh, friendship with Isabella if she's going to remain your party member for the rest of the whole, for the rest of the game. These thugs are plaguing the streets. I don't see a problem in giving them the fight they want. Well, let's kill them already. And we've got guardsmen pretenders. And she's just standing there. And here comes more. The thing about Dragon Age 2. When you're fa phasing a lot of enemies in in the um, overworld, like here, um, they tend to attack in waves. Like more will appear. But now that they're all down, let's see what loot we can find. Hmm, injury kit. And nothing else. Let's talk to Isabella. There you are. I've been here for hours. Hader hasn't shown up. No one has. I don't like this. I don't like this? <laughs> That's right up there with what could possibly go wrong. That's the wench we're looking for. Got her. Yeah, you wouldn't. You don't want to do that. Sending thugs to finish me off. Coward. He'll not get away with this. Come on. And now to follow her to the Chantry. And here come more people.
Whoa, where'd you come from? See what I mean? These guys appear out of nowhere. Alright, some more loot. Ooh, health potion. Nice. And she's getting ahead of us. Head on in. Isabella, should have known you'd find me here. Tell your men to burn the letters next time. Castillon was heartbroken when he heard about the shipwreck. You should have let him know you survived. It must have slipped my mind. <laughs> Where's the relic? I lost it. Castillon's just going to have to do without. Lost it? Just like you lost a ship full of valuable cargo? They weren't cargo, Hader. They were people. Those slaves were worth a hundred sovereigns a head. And you let them scurry off into the wilds. And now the relic's gone, too. Castillon won't be happy to hear that. I promise you. Castillon isn't a very happy person, is he? Maybe he needs a new hobby. There's only one way to settle this. Enter Matrix shot. Uh, you missed. Focus on Hater, don't need to fight any of the other guys, or your character could just automatically target them. Alright, let's see. You go after him. You go after him. You go after that guy too. And I'll just lay the smack down on this guy. Ah, shoot. Now you guys know. Die, you bastards! And he's trying down. to talk him down. Trust me, it's better this way. Castillon won't hear about me from Hader, but he'll find me eventually. I just have to get him the relic. Simple as that. If getting the relic gets Castillon off your back, then I'll help you retrieve it. I still don't know where it is, but you'll be the first to know if I hear anything. Anyway, thanks for helping me out with Hader. I think I'll tag along for a while. There might be something I could do for you. And I have a room at the Hanged Man if you're looking for company later. Also having it, um, also it, having a high friendship with Isabella, at least one, uh, at least fifty or higher, will make a later boss fight a lot easier to deal with. Anyway, I'm injured, so I need a need to use an injury kit. All right, check Tim. Let's get out of here. And uh, Isabella needs a level up.
aren't always trying to take over at night. But someone else will always pay for their removal. All right, let's find a quick route, which is right around here, around the corner. Alrighty. Let's do that quest, A New Home. Oh, what's this? Is Anders there? Okay, that's interesting. Stop yelling. It's always me. Oh, good. I didn't Anyway, our new uh, anyway, the new home should be right up here. He can still hear you. Justice and I are one. Anyway, you wanted to talk to me. Gamlin's house. Anyway, let's check the writing desk. Bait and switch, letter from Mirren, and Black Emporium. Black Emporium is a interesting uh, place. It, it's a it's basically a a market. Got quite a few good. Uh, I got quite a few good potions there. He wasn't like this in Lothering. I think he misses the open fields. Come on, let's play fetch the invisible ball. Poor thing. Maybe he'd be happier if we brought him with us more often. But if he's with us, who'd keep Gamlin's debt collectors away? Take it. I'm sick of what's his name staring and panting. Gamlin, honestly, a Mabari understands what you say. Try using his name. What's wrong with dog? Real easy to remember. I know exactly what to name him. No way, that's the name we gave him for in Origins. Hmm. <laughs> let's just call him Fred. <laughs> Anyway, let's speak to Mother. My children have been in servitude. Servitude for a year. They should be nobility. If wishes were poppy, we'd all be dreaming. <laughs> you mean, this is real? <laughs> no wonder I can't wake up. <laughs> and here I thought that Ferelden you ran off with was a mage, not a jester. Your mother was supposed to marry the Comte de Lance, and instead she ran off with some Ferelden apostate. You don't get to stay the favorite when you do that. Where is Father's will? If I could just see for myself. It's not here, all right? It was read. It went in the vault. No one needed to look at it again. That touched a nerve. What's in there that you don't want us to see? Nothing. But you won't be seeing the bloody thing. It's still locked up on the estate, and that's long out of my hands. You didn't take your parents' will. It was old news. You think I've been sitting here for 25 years waiting for Leandra to slink back? Who bought the estate, Gamlin? Perhaps I could speak to them. Was it the Reinhardts? No one you know. Get used to Lowtown, sister. That's where we're going to stay. Bethany? So... 
I hate thinking badly of family. But did Uncle Gammon seem a little slippery when he talked about Grandfather's will? If he, say, invested money that was meant to be Mother's, do you think he would tell us? Gamlin can't say good morning without lying twice. <laughs> Mother's been in such a fit of melancholy since Gamlin told her how angry her parents were about Father. She told me she wishes she'd died with Carver. It's like coming here ruined every good memory of her childhood. I wish we could get some of it back. We need to get that will. Good. I'm glad we agree. Gamlin told me he gave the estate as payment to some slaver who beat him at dice. Apparently, our ancestral home is now a base for slavers from all over Thedas. How could Gamlin let that happen? I think there's a reason Mother didn't talk about him much. Seriously, though, those scum have no right to our family's things. We should break in there. Get the will for Mother. I, I like the way you think. Both of them about this. Gamlin said they guard the front entrance well. But Mother gave me her old key. She said it should unlock the cellar. Apparently the sewers run right beneath the house. Sounds like a plan. Anyways, we have some items in here that I got from the... From the... DLC... That I got from the Warrior Pack 2 DLC. Let's see what's in here. Ooh, quick level up. Oof. Five! Wow! And I quickly use them all. <laughs> yeah. Alright, let's add scythe. We should also um, add some of that w equipment. Hmm, let's see. Dogs of War, that's more powerful. Ooh, this is even more better. Darn, can't put any of the other stuff on yet. Oh well, this will do for now. Hmm. Not much for hammers, but this will do. I'm gonna save the uh I'm gonna save the uh legacy DLC for late for a later time. Alright, let's head to D low town. He should be right, the, the entrance should be right up here. There it is. The Amel Estate. And we've need to level up everyone. 
All right, we'll want to level up hit, um, Varric's Cunning a lot. At least he, until he gets to 40, I believe. Or 30, I don't know. We, we need him for opening some... Uh, some master level qu chests. Hmm. Let's see what's around here. Hello. What's in here? Broken statuette and three silvers. And in this chest is Portrait of Mother. That is a gift item, and here we have the Amel Fan. Described it, but this is the first time I've seen it. Wouldn't it feel like something to live in a house with this above the door? Hmm. Anything else? Doesn't look like it. Really can't. Really needed that portrait anyway. Kill them all. What's in here? Oh, more of you guys. Huh, cool fragments. History of Kirkwall, Chapter Two. Uh, dates the Codex, and what's in here? Plate armor. Probably not as powerful as what we have, but yeah. Master Slaver. Back off. Alright, let's see what loot we got. Vault Key. Imperial Blood Helm. Varric, see what you can do. Alright, let's get the vault door open. We want to know about Shoot, we can't inside. keep moving. Let's see what's in here. Cracked Rose Diamond, Onyx. And here's a chest. Some gold. Grandfather Mel's this will. This is it. Grandfather's will. Mother needs to see this as soon as possible. We'll take it to her right now. So I'm just saying, blood's blood and all, but you are taking advantage of my hospitality. It's only fair if you make something of a monthly contribution. You sold my children into servitude. Now you're asking me to pay rent? Uh, maybe just put something towards food. We found the will. He forgave you, Mother. Grandfather left you everything. Here, read it. 
Uh, ah. I should... maybe... To my daughter, Leandra, and all children born of her, the estate in Hightown and all associated revenues... What do you have to say for yourself? You're the one who ran away, Leandra. What happened to love is so much more important than money. It is. You didn't even come home for the funeral. The twins were a week old. We all have our burdens. Mine was looking after a life you abandoned. How long was I supposed to wait? I doubt you let the ashes get cold. I took care of father. I stayed. And on his deathbed, all he could talk about was Leandra. Look, sister, I'm sorry. I shouldn't have done it, but I did. And there's nothing I can do to get it back. I don't expect that, Gamlin. It's enough to know mother and father didn't die angry. I'll petition the Viscount for rights to reclaim the estate. Make a willing. You'll have your house back within weeks. You don't have the coin or standing to even get an audience with the Viscount. You've got to be someone in this city to live in that house again. Then I had better get started. Screw you, Gamlin. Screw you. Why don't you go pick up something at the market? You could use some air. What? Hey! Oh, shit. I can't believe Gamlin stole Mother's entire inheritance. I mean, I can believe it. That's the worst part. I would never turn against you. You're a better person than Gamlin could ever be. Well, hopefully we'll be out of here soon. You know, when we went to look for that will, I thought we were doing it for Mother, for what she lost. I didn't realize how much it would mean to me to know I had grandparents who didn't hate me. I wish they had lived long enough to see us come home. Home. That's what it is, isn't it? I like saying that. We're not running away again. We're coming home. We are going to make this our home, Bethany. I promise you. I hope so, brother. I'm so very tired of running. And there's one last thing for her. I found this when we were at the estate. I thought you should have it. Is it? I think this is Mother's betrothal portrait from when she was supposed to marry the Comte. Look! You can see the ring. I suppose it would have been a bit awkward to take it with her. I know she loved Father. I guess I just wondered if she'd have been happier if he hadn't been a mage. If I wasn't a mage. I know that made it hard for Mother. It's nice to have a reminder of a time when she still knew how to smile. How nice. Helping out the family. Alright, let's see. Let's bring her, him, and... Let's have Anders join us. For this trip around. Oh, we still have... We have new mail. The Bone Pit. Looking for work, there's a rich merchant in Hightown, blah blah blah. Alright, let's see. We can head to Enemies Among Us. Hmm. Interesting. But there's also bait and switch. Uh let's go do enemies among us first.
What? Just wondering if the feathered pauldrons are an essential part of the moody rebel mage persona. What are you talking about? I'm working on an epic poem about a hopelessly romantic apostate waging an epic. See what's on here. My dearest wife Nina has gone missing. I shall reward the person who returns her safely. Questions about the bounty. Uh, uh, question about bounty. Blah blah blah. Against forces he can't. That act. That starts a. What do you mean? Come fairly extensive. Well, side quest. Or main plot quest. I don't know. But hmm. Let's look around over here. Got some quest marks around here. Tappy. Tappy. Please, please, can you help me? My brother. What happened to your brother? Karen was always so devout. So idealistic. He was so proud when the Templars accepted him. I pleaded with him not to join the Order, but he wouldn't listen. You hear dark rumors about the Templars and Knight Commander Meredith. And now my brother is gone. I'm here to help you. Just tell me what you know. Karen would write me every day. Then suddenly, no more letters. I wrote him many times with no response. I tried to see him, but Knight Commander Meredith threw me out. They won't tell me anything. Your brother may indeed be in trouble. What can I do for you? Perchance, in your journeys, if you find yourself in the gallows, ask the other recruits, Wilmard and Hugh, about my brother. They were Karen's closest friends in the Order. If anyone knows where he is, it's them. May God bless you and watch after you in this endeavor. And that begins the Enemies Among Us quest. And we have another one over here, Magistrate Venard. This begins the quest you line, Magistrate's Brown, Orders. I wish to speak with you. You've gained quite a reputation with the Red Iron Mercenary Band. I find myself in need of someone with your special talents. I'm guessing you don't mean my ability to juggle small rodents to Orlesian ballads. If that is your greatest skill, then I have been misinformed. I am looking for muscle, not whatever it was. <laughs> a man I sentenced to a life in prison has escaped custody. He's been tracked to an abandoned ruin outside the city. I'd like you to retrieve the fugitive and hand him over to the guard. Why is there such a clamor to catch this man? What has he done? He's escaped. That's reason enough to catch him. We're both intelligent people. There's something in the ruins, isn't there? There is something, yes. There are creatures in the ruins. The guards I sent are ill-equipped to deal with such beasts. I'll take the job. Bring the fugitive in alive, quickly and quietly. Not only will you be well paid, you'll have the gratitude of a city magistrate. Useful for a refugee, wouldn't you agree? Something tells me there's more to this. But anyways, let's level up Anders. Let's continue to gather some quests. So yeah, this episode is going to be a pretty quest gather gather heavy que episode, I guess. Okay, that just leads to, Vi to the Viscount's keep. Now that I think about it, there's also a store over here. I'm sure you recognize these guys. Botan Fedic, purveyor of goods, both common and rare, at your service. And this is my son, Sandal, who is as brilliant an enchanter as you'll ever find. Say hello to the nice human, Sandal. Hello. We shall be accompanying your expedition and providing the needed supplies. It's all quite exciting, isn't it? You aren't worried about venturing into such a dangerous place? Not with such fine protection. <laughs> but I digress. 
Do you wish to peruse my wares, or perhaps make use of Sandal's unique talents? Enchantment? Just so. Let's see what you have. By all means, feel free to peruse my wares whenever you wish. Anyways, what he means by that is, look at his sack right here. No, not that kind of sack. Behave yourself. Let's see. Let's sell all our junk. Get us a nice amount of... Mercenary shield. And let's sell this long sword here. We won't need the visionary's visor for some time, but that's not really going to help us in the money department. Anyways, I believe that about does it for this episode. Alright guys, we got quite a bit done. We did Bethany's companion quest and learned the truth about how much... Well, it wasn't really a secret. Gamlin was always a, li a liar. Next time on Dragon Age 2, going to be completing some, some more side missions. See you guys later.